uh, the thing about rock bottom, I'm trying to share this using my own personal uh, experience. I hope that it works because I'm not sure how much I can give away. So, you know, so it can get really comfortable so that you are almost like almost forgetting yourself because we've hit a series of rock bottoms in our lives and stuff. One of my wars was from 2012 to 14 when I lost my mom and my younger sister. I thought that was going to be the peak of it. But then a few more came after that. And of course, just this year, I hit a good one, a better one, of course. You know, that's where I'm coming from when I say it can be really comfortable down there. Because I spent the first couple of months, you know, like drenching myself, just swimming in the pool of my own tears and all of those things and stuff and stuff and stuff. But at some point you're going to be like, hey, shut up, because what are you doing here anyway? You know, so it, it's a good place because as you cry, because you have to, I'm just happy because one of the things you get right when you are right down there is a good support system. I've got so many, I had to share a situation with a few people because you can't keep it to yourself. That's one of the things I've learned, that it's gotten to the point where if I don't share with a few people, it's going to start escaping out maybe through as pimples or busting out through my chest, share with a few people. So for me, like, for example, it was one of the people she would call and then she's quite naughty. She would say, I know you need to cry. I'll give you time to cry. And then after that, you tell me what next, you know. She gave me, she's quite, I was just really angry. I said, you, you need to tell me not to cry. I'm crying. You say I should cry. I said, yeah, you need to cry. I'm not there. I would have given you tissue.